Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to this uh, ladder webinar. The topic is about ladder MCP EMC solution overview. So in the next about 30 to 40 minutes, I will take you through the MCP basic fundamental followed by the EMC basic fundamental. And then I will introduce you the MCP portfolio for EMC and how MCP work for this uh, EMC problem. And then customer pain point analysis plus the latter unique solution to address this pain point and problems. And then I will show you some case study, uh, the typical MCP application. At the end, I will uh, introduce the latter uh, market position and also the value to the customers. I will leave some uh, minutes for you to ask questions. OK. Let's start from the MCP basic. OK, for those who might not know MCP, uh, MCP stands for magnetic ceramic based products. So for EMC and signal application, MCP includes ferrite core, inductor for LC filtering, chip bit and bit assembly, common mode choke, as well as a ferrite sheet. This is an overview uh, of layered performance materials. And MCP is part of the uh, layered performance materials. As you can see, layer offer a bunch of uh, different kind of uh, materials uh, to enable and protect high performance electronic device. But unlike the other precision metal, EMI materials and thermal materials, uh, MCP aims to preserve signal integrity for EMC compliance. So from the uh, frequency spectrum view uh, for EMC purpose, MCP focus on the kilohertz to uh, three gigahertz application. Why the other, um, we call it conductive material, metal absorber EMI materials, they focus on much higher frequency, more than one gigahertz and up to 100 gigahertz. And from the performance uh, material point of view, MCP is a kind of uh, inductive material and why the others are, are absorbing conductive and thermal materials. So as you can see, all together, the layer portfolio, including metal, conductive material, EMI materials, thermal, and MCP all together, and covering the whole frequency spectrum from low frequency kilohertz up to very, very high uh, frequency. I give you a little bit more information about the MCP background. Uh, the former company is called Stewart. Stewart is a very famous brand, uh, brand, uh, uh, brand in the US. Uh, it is a 140 years uh, company in, in the markets. And Stewart was acquired by Laird back in 2006. And then we formed the uh, L Laird MCP product line. OK. And now, we are still promoting the dual brand, Laird and Stewart. And now we have the um, design and manufacturing uh, centralized and localized in South China, Shenda, Foshan. This picture shows you very basic function of our MCP. Um, so the MCP function is, uh, you see the cable core and the ball level, chip bit show inductor, all these kind of components apply either on the uh, cable harness or on the PCBA. Uh, the purpose is to uh, block, the, uh, block the noise and deliver a very clean signal or power from the source to the low, no matter if it is a signal source or power source. The following slide, I will show you some uh, EMC basic and fundamental. EMC, as we all know, stands for electromagnetic compatibility. And the key point here is that uh, what caused EMI? What caused the EMI problem? The source of the EMI problem is the common mode noise, uh, differential mode noise, and plus the radiated noise. And the goal of the EMC is to reduce the device's uh, electromagnetic emission, as well as, well as uh, increasing its uh, immunity to the emissions of the other device in the environment. OK. So it's uh, very important to understand 
are the type of the noise, either common mode, differential mode, or, radi or radiation. And also important to understand uh, the source of the noise. And then we can apply the, uh, the right solution, the right way. And the goal of the EMC is to design something uh, with a perfect immunity and less uh, noise uh, emission. And why EMC is so important? Uh, there are four factors behind. The first one is the laws and regulations. It's kind of uh, entrance uh, tickets. Uh, you need to design something uh, with a compliance to the uh, country uh, regulations so you can be allowed to sell your electronic products to that country. So very important. You need to comply with those uh, regulations and laws. And the second point is the reliability. OK, so product with uh, lower noise emission and high immunity, you know, the products uh, will have a less chance to fail in the field. So that means the end user can use it for a long time. And also from customer experience perspective, uh, uh, we have so many electronic devices, uh, you know, in use uh, at the same time at home or in the office environment. So we don't want one device to affect the others in the operating mode. And also we don't want the device uh, to be affected by others. And also very important EMC sometimes uh, can be driven by very specific customer requirements. This figure will show you um, a very basic principle here. That's about the uh, relationship between the techniques required to solve the EMI problem versus the cost you will pay for the EMC compliance. Here, as you can see, uh, in very early stage of the development time, uh, life, lives, uh, you can see the technique is very high. You need a very high technique or experience to solve the EMI problem. And at that point, your cost will be very low. And as time goes by, as time goes by, the cost will increase. Uh, you know, huge cost will increase. Um, sometimes customer may come in for a last minute solution, and at that point, the cost will be very high. And a lot of limitation like a ball space or tire limitation, a lot of limitation at that point. So the idea to a customer is that um, we need to predict and also prevent the problem uh, in a very early stage here. So the cost you pay will be minimized here. And layer of value and, and solution uh, is that uh, we can help customer to debug and troubleshoot the problem at very early development stage. And therefore we can reduce the customer total EMC costs and also shorten the new product time to market. Keep in mind that EMC is uh, one of the very important design goal, design goal uh, during the design phase. In general, we have uh, three solutions for EMC. We call it grounding, shielding, and filtering. And unlike the other later performance materials, BLS, absorber, these are kind of uh, um, conductive materials we use for grounding and shielding. MCP mainly focus on filtering solution here. So that means the MCB components, uh, no matter uh, cable core or chip B, inductor, common mode choke, all these kind of uh, components are used inside the circuitry, connected to the circuitry to block the noise on the PCBA or on the cable harness. So it's a kind of a filtering uh, function to block the noise, to absorb the noise, okay? So MCB aims to offer EMC solution in this uh, frequency range, kilohertz to three kilohertz. And more than that frequency, beyond that frequency, uh, please approach other later performance material solution like a BLS, ball level shoe, metal shoe, absorber, and all the other type of uh, uh, conductive material solution. So overall, later we offer a total solution, like I tell you, uh, from kilohertz, very low frequency, up to very, very high frequency, up to 100 gigahertz. But keep in mind, MCB focus on the uh, filtering function here. Okay. 
this is a very basic model for a common mode and differential mode. Um, the differential mode is expressed in the blue color and the common mode expressed in the orange color here. And keep in mind, in the uh, transmitting uh, transmitting system, uh, differential mode is a useful signal and the common mode is unuseful signal, undesired signal, because it carries no information, no useful information here. And keep in mind, we use a common mode choke and cable core to suppress the um, common mode noise, and we usually chip it or inductor to suppress the uh, differential mode noise here. Okay, and another uh, very basic model uh, to express differential mode here. So keep in mind, apply the uh, chip bit and bit assembly uh, for differential mode solution. As you can see, uh, the chip bit or the bit assembly will block or absorb the differential mode noise here in the orange color while passing through the blue color, the normal differential mode signal without attenuation. And for the common mode, it's easier. Um, in orange color, that's the common mode uh, noise. We use cable core or common mode choke to suppress either block, absorb this type of uh, common mode noise. Okay, the following slide will take you through the MCP portfolio for EMC. This is a snapshot of uh, the EMC product uh, portfolio. As you can see, it's kind of a uh, fair wire based component. Um, either have the wire wall around the fair wire core or the wire insertion, the wire inserted into the fair wire body, or uh, the electronic circuits are printed inside the fair wire, the multi layer fair wire uh, piece. And then we stack up. We make it a chip bit or a chip component or chip bit array. So with all this kind of uh, material and process technology, we offer a complete uh, product portfolio for EMC. Okay, this is a, a product family tree. Uh, we separate by ball level and non-ball level. So ball level is something you install on the PCBA by solder connection, either wave soldering or reflow soldering. And on ball level, we just directly use on the cable harness, slide onto the cable, or you apply the fair wire plate or fair wire sheet just on the EMI problem area, just put it on the IC circuitry. So we separate by common mode and differential mode solution. Like I tell you, common mode choke for common mode problem, and chip it, bit assembly, chip inductor for the differential mode problem. And we, we apply all these kind of uh, fair wire and fair wire play uh, for the radiating noise. And cable core is used to uh, suppress the common mode noise. Okay, so the advantage of a ladder is that uh, we offer both solution, ball level and non ball level. Um, so customer can make a choice, can have a choice depends on the design, I mean the space or the PCBA, depends on the design details or the source of the noise. So customer can pick uh, either solution or both solution to tackle the EMI problem very quickly and effectively. And as an expert of EMC, uh, later still can help you to select the right solution, either ball level or non ball level or both. Okay, cable core selection, the material selection. We offer a very wide range of selection, material selection, covering low frequency, uh, broadband, very famous uh, 20A broadband material for a broadband frequency, high frequency uh, solution. Okay, so like I tell you, covering low frequency up to about two to three gigahertz for the common mode noise uh, suppression. And we also offer flexible fair wire sheet. Um, flexible fair wire sheet is a kind of a sandwich construction. The very thin fair wire layer is sandwiched by the uh, top cover tape 
and the bottom adhesive layer. Very thin in size. And in this application, we use the, um, the mutable prime performance here. As absorber for about 30 megahertz up to about one gigahertz absorb the noise. So it's kind of an absorber in this application. And beyond one gigahertz, you may also approach uh, other layer performance materials, other absorbers for much higher frequency. We also offer solid state ferrite plates and ferrite discs, similar to the uh, ferrite sheet solution. This is a kind of uh, absorber as well uh, for similar frequency range up to about one gigahertz. The different thing is that uh, the ferrite sheet is very thin but flexible, very easy to apply, but it is very thin, limited by the thickness. But the solid state ferrite plates could be very thick. So it's very effective, uh, more effective to, uh, to uh, tackle the EMI uh, radiated noise by using the solid ferrite plates. But the disadvantage is that um, it's not flexible, it's rigid, it's a solid ferrite. So you need to pay more attention when you use it. It's kind of a ceramic uh, rigid materials. Um, Land also offer a very wide range of products for the uh, common mode solution. As you can see, all this kind of a common mode choke with a different current rating, uh, different uh, behavior uh, for different frequencies and different uh, performance on inductance and also impedance. So altogether, this portfolio gives you a very good choice uh, for your EMI uh, common mode problem uh, troubleshooting. Okay. And you can also uh, approach later for a uh, 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 best solution, you know. If something is not, if there's nothing fitting here, you can also approach later for a uh, uh, wise uh, solution. Differential mode solution. We offer a uh, fair white bead, fair white chip bead, bead assembly, as well as a power inductors. So inductor can be used uh, together with the uh, capacitor uh, to form an LC filter to suppress the uh, differential mode noise. So altogether, this kind of uh, portfolio um, will give you a total solution for differential mode. So very good coverage for different current rating different frequency and also different performance targets here. So ideally, we can be your uh, one-stop shop solution for EMC. Cable core, ferro chip bead, common mode choke, bead assembly, and inductor. Okay, the next slides I will uh, take you through the um, introduction about how MCB works for EMC. This is a kind of a fundamental for uh, common mode noise suppression. So when we apply the cable core or the common mode choke, um, the common mode current flowing in the same direction through each of the choke windings creates an equal and in phase magnetic flux, which add together. So this result in the choke presenting a very high impedance to the common mode signal while passing through the choke uh, heavily attenuated. That means the common mode signal cannot pass through the cable core or the common mode choke here. Why the differential mode signal can pass without attenuation? So that's the basic function of the uh, uh, common mode noise suppression. Okay. And this figure shows you the right way and the wrong way to use a fair white core for a common mode noise suppression. So you need to use the um, uh, you need to slide the core onto both wires. I mean, the symmetrical pair, both together, put into the core. That's the right way to use cable core for common mode noise suppression. That's the wrong way. Uh, you put the core separate on each wire, each line. That's a kind of actually a kind of a, a fair IP solution for the differential mode noise suppression, not for common mode. So the right way is here. You put both wires in. That's the right way. Put all the cable 
wire to the core to suppress the common mode noise here. OK. This picture show you a very traditional way how we tackle a EMI problem. Uh, customer tend to use um, uh, fair calls to tackle EMI problem. Uh, you can try to stack up the core in very early testing as many as you can uh, until you get to a point where you can solve the EMC problem. OK, but that's not really the right way for mass production. And later, with our expertise in EMC, we can guide you to use the right solution. You know, we can combine all these three cores together into one, and we can guide you to use the cable core um, on the right position, the right location, with the right materials. And therefore, we can um, reduce the number of the cores uh, you use for the mass production, and also reduce your total EMC cost, and also your time to troubleshoot. So please all uh, approach later uh, for a wise solution. OK. But that's a good way, I can tell you, that's a good way to troubleshoot at the beginning. You can stack up what's available on your hand. You can use uh, whatever cable core on your hand uh, to try to troubleshoot the problem at the beginning to really understand how effective the, the core solution. How the Fairlight beat works? To suppress the uh, differential mode noise. So the ferrite bit is very simple. It's kind of a ferrite you install on one wire. It's kind of a ferrite bit application. Um, just block the very high frequency noise here. So in the clock signal here, the clock signal pass through. It's a clean signal, but the uh, high frequency noise is blocked or absorbed here. So you see a very clean signal, you know, at the low side. OK, so the fair IP function is to absorb a very high frequency EMI energy, differential mode noise, anticipating it as a very tiny amount of heat. It becomes heat, very tiny. Inductor and capacitor combination can form a, a low pass filter here, so it's also suppress the uh, differential mode noise. As you can see, um, when more and more Inductor and capacitors are used, uh, what we call the uh, different stage of the filter. You see, more inductors and capacitors are used, more attenuation and more steep the curve. You see more attenuation to differential mode noise. So, inductor is also uh, one very important component uh, for uh, EMC. So altogether, let us offer both a non ball level, ball level solution, uh, including Fairway Core, like I tell you, Fairway Core, chip bit, common mode choke, inductor, all this kind of uh, common mode or differential mode solution. Um, in this table, I try to compare uh, different solutions, advantage and disadvantage. For example, the Fairway Core can be used uh, just directly on the cable harness no matter it's external cable harness or the internal uh, cable harness. Uh, it is a very effective solution because it is very close to the source of the noise because the cable, the cable harness tend to be a antenna to emit noise or pick up the noise. So fair core on a cable core is a very effective solution close to the uh, source of the noise. OK, but the disadvantage that um, you need to install manually on the cable harness or you need to bear with the uh, cosmetic issue. You know, you have uh, some kind of a stick, stick out on the cable. OK. And fair core cannot suppress the differential mode noise. But the good thing is that uh, you can use uh, fair core as the last minute solution whenever you don't have a space for PCBA. Or in very late design stage, you don't have a uh, Room to change your PCBA design. You can consider to add a cable core on the cable harness to suppress the common mode noise. Okay, and all these kind of a ball level components are good to use because they are very easy to install. Like I tell you, you can go through wave soldering or flow soldering. You know, just kind of an automatic process. 
very easy to install. But the disadvantage is that they, they take the ball space, you know. OK. And also because uh, they are directly connected to the uh, PCB circuitry, so a lot of things you need to consider, like uh, the thermal rating, the current rating, and also some kind of a safety consideration because the current will directly go through all these kind of ball level components. But the current will not go through the cable core here for the non ball level solution. So all these kind of solutions, they have uh, their own advantage and also disadvantage. So it depends on your design details of the needs and your needs. And later we can guide you to use the right solution, the right products at the right time, in the right location. OK. Uh, customer pain point. You can see the left side, so many new technology, um, new energy, new energy car, green energy, IoT, 5G, AI, next generation, silicon, uh, IC, all this kind of uh, new technology bringing new problems and new challenges to the magnetic component industry. For example, higher power, higher temperature, uh, much higher frequency driven by the next generation IC. Um, so that makes the EMC more complex, more complex and more electronic devices inside the, uh, the device from a mechanized to uh, electronized. And more critical for the vibration and shock. And customer always have a limited time for EMI problem troubleshooting. Because the, uh, everybody expect to launch the product faster. OK, so for the magnetic component itself, we need to continue to develop very high reliable uh, components with a compliance to all this uh, safety and regulation and EMC regulation. Um, the component needs to be designed uh, with less heat generation or with a better heat spreading. And the component needs to be more self-shielded, not to emit noise to other devices and also increase the immunity to um, uh, not to pick up the noise from the others. And it to be more compact, lighter, smaller, and lower profile because the higher power density. And it to be more robust in mechanical design and install the PCB more reliably. And more multifunctional because of the limited design space and room, we need to design the components are more multifunctional. For example, differential mode and common mode combination integration. So a lot of these are uh, new challenging. They will change the whole magnetic design. OK. And what ladder can help you uh, to troubleshoot EMC? So with all these kind of uh, capabilities, material know how, uh, electromagnetic and thermal simulation capabilities, advanced uh, uh, process manufacturing, and few application support to global customers. With all these kind of uh, capabilities, we can help you at the very beginning to troubleshoot, to analyze, to predict the EMI problem, or even prevent the EMI problem from happening at the very beginning. And we can help you identify the EMI source uh, very quickly and then apply the right product, the right solution. As I tell you, either cable core choke, bit or inductor. You can guide you to install the component the right way, the right location, and how many to apply, and a very quick way to validate the effectiveness. So eventually we can reduce our EMC uh, troubleshooting cost from TCO perspective. OK, and increase the reliability. So you can see in this workflow, service is very important in this workflow. So layer of values to guide you to use the right product the right way. OK. What else we can offer? Spice modeling, so this will help you to uh, simulate uh, your device, your products are very easy. I mean, at the very beginning. We offer you a very good uh, smart model for each component. Uh, and also sample kits for your very quick uh, validation at the beginning. 
sample kits and also catalog brochure uh, for the technical uh, input. And also upon request, we can offer a very specific simulation and measurement by part or from system level. OK, uh, in the following slides, I will take you through some uh, successful case study and also some uh, new product snapshot from later. This is actually a one good example for fairway cable core for common mode noise uh, suppression. Uh, through the material innovation, uh, later can offer you either smaller in size, same performance, smaller in size, or same size, but higher performance than the competitors. So it depends on your design needs. You want a smaller size, lighter, smaller weight, or you want a higher performance. Depends on your needs. We can offer you either solution. We give you a choice. OK. So you can come to a ladder, you can approach a ladder for a wide solution. Either smaller size or higher performance. This is a very one good showcase uh, for the very hot application uh, for powertrain for the EV and hybrid EV. Um, DC DC converter and DC AC inverter, very high power application. Um, the fairway core in U shape or racetrack shape are very good to apply on the bus bar to suppress the common mode noise from one, uh, 100 kilohertz to up to about 300 megahertz common mode noise suppression. And these are uh, automotive grade ACU 200 compliant components can help you really tackle the EMI problem in this uh, frequency range. And whenever you have a space available, we can also apply the common mode show, very high current common mode show here. Together with the bus bar fairway core, we give you a total solution to suppress the uh, common mode noise very effectively. This is another example for the uh, very high power solar inverter. Um, so you can see this application, uh, we uh, the solar panel collect the uh, power from the sun and then store the DC battery here and then we convert the DC to AC to the AC mains. So let offer a very big size fairway core for this inverter application for the cable harness or after Y1 become a common mode choke here to suppress the, um, the noise, very low frequency noise about one 100 kilohertz to 300 megahertz. So the core size as big as like a 100 millimeter or even much bigger size than 100 millimeter. This is actually a very typical application uh, across um, telecom, telecom and industrial. We call it the uh, first power conversion stage AC to DC common mode choke. You can see the wire wall uh, common mode choke here. And the old generation is in blue color and the new generation in red. So as you can see, we break through the bandwidth. We can offer very high impedance over a wider frequency range up to about 300 megahertz through the material innovation and also the wiring process innovation. We can offer a much wider band uh, common mode suppression. And this is uh, what we call the second uh, power stage conversion. We call it DC to DC. We offer a very high power uh, application up to 75 amp. And through the material innovation, we can design this common mode choke uh, with a very small pin pitch. We can we can reduce the uh, the pin pitch here, and therefore can save the customer ball layout space by up to twenty percent. That means the pin pitch is smaller, but we still maintain 
that require isolation and insulation among the pins, but the performance won't be effective. Okay, so this is a very popular to use for uh, telecom, data company, industrial for the DC DC power conversion for the high frequency up to about one gigahertz broadband noise, uh, common mode noise uh, filtering, and up to very high current. And this is actually a multifunctional solution. Uh, we call it a differential mode and common mode integration. Uh, it's like a two in one packaging. We design in common mode and differential mode function in this a very small package, six by five by five millimeter. And this is a very good to use for any talk, any of the application that need this kind of uh, function, differential mode and common mode together, two in one packaging here. A very broadband noise filtering here. And this concept can also be applied um, for other application. Uh, we either we can either scale up the size or scale down to fit for different application for for different current rating for different performance targets. But this gives you a very good concept that uh, we uh, combine the differential mode and common mode together in one packaging. So possibly can save a customer uh, one inductor on the board. That means the inductors already designed in this packaging as a plus benefits. This is a one very good example for the ferrite bead assembly. Um, versus the competitive part here. Uh, the layer you need is uh, kind of a wide insertion process to ferrite body and very superior material, ferrite material here to replace the competitive part. Competitive is doing like a, a silver paste injection to the ferrite body. So you see the construction is very complex. And also the silver is very expensive. And the latter way is to use wide insertion. And this way we can have a very good uh, 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 reliability as well as the performance. Why it is more manufacturing friendly for the later construction. And we can be more price competitive uh, than our competitor here. So this is uh, good for the automotive CAN box uh, or industrial CAN box uh, application, the ferrite bit for very broadband noise uh, filtering here for differential mode noise filtering up to about one or two gigahertz. So at the end, I let me make a summary page here. Um, let us do was position and value to customers. So as you can see, we are not selling only products. We are selling service as well as a solution. And this is a 140 years brand. Uh, your trusted and reliable partner. And very important, uh, we have a very good trackable record serving global customers and EMS company. And with a consistent uh, quality record. Material know how, you know what? The performance is highly material driven, particularly for EMC. Like I tell you, the ferrite based components, the contributor to the performance are mainly from the ferrite. So with the superior ferrite material, you can either shorten uh, the pin pitch, uh, reduce the pin pitch, or reduce the size, or increase the performance. Depends on your needs. So it's very much a material performance driven. And EMC troubleshooting database, that's a kind of a very, very important. Uh, as you can see, Larry Stewart, we have a rich experience in the database. We understand your problem, and we try to help you to analyze your problem, predict your problem, or prevent the problems. So this way we can uh, eliminate or shorten 
you know, try and error cycles through our rich database for EMI troubleshooting. And excellent service, global reach and local support. So we can help you, like I tell you, we can help you in every product design stage. Uh, earlier design stage, you pay less cost. Even the last minutes of your life cycle, I mean development life cycle, you can come to later for a solution, for the last minute solution. So in every uh, development stage, we can help you. We can help you to tackle the EMI problem effectively. And simulation capabilities in electromagnetics and also thermal. Okay, as you can see, the high power electronic design now generate a lot of heat. And that will create risk for the reliability. So um, combined with the thermal capability, we can simulate both electromagnetic and also thermal. We can give you a very reliable, a safe and high performance uh, proposal. Very strong co-engineering capability and internal collaboration. Uh, in order to deal with the future trend and challenge on more critical uh, EMC problems, uh, let us still able to deliver more integrated and more multifunctional solution and more innovative solution for EMC. So overall, like I tell you, we're selling products, service, as well as a solution. Um, we can help you in every product design stage. Uh, we can help you reduce your total EMC cost and shorten your new product time to market. So please uh, approach uh, your local regional sales contacts or FAE contacts uh, for more support for the uh, EMC solution. OK, that's all for my presentation. So David. That's all for my presentation, Derek. Right back to you, David. Hey, Andrew, sorry. Maybe uh, David is mute. Uh, okay. I can't, yes. So any question uh, on the best stage? Okay, do you uh and uh, attend this highlight of what's the minimum thickness of a fair sheet we can offer in market? Uh you mean the size? No, thickness. Uh thickness. Yeah. Uh okay. In terms of a uh, thickness, uh, we can offer as thin as like um uh 0 0.05 millimeter for the pure fair white labor. Let me show you this way. Um, here, the pure ferro labor we can go as thin as like a 0 0.05 millimeter, and all together with the sandwich construction we offer as thin as like a 0 0.08 or 9 millimeter in total thickness. Okay. Okay. Another question is highlighted by attendees. Uh, uh, does there offering the e core? Or ER core, EI core, yeah. Normally, E core, EI core are uh, those kind of uh, what we call power conversion application. Uh, in this uh, webinar, we mainly focus on a EMC solution. So we may have another session later, uh, later on, uh, to focus on the power conversion solution. Uh, but the EI or E core, those kind of uh, what we call shape core. Is normally popular for the power conversion. Uh, okay, that's all. Question, you know. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for joining.